Good day everyone, it's me again, your teacher Karen. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you a remedial strategy for viewing. This is called as Anchor Strategy. Watch a video like you read the book. We are living in a visual world. Viewing as a macro skill is an active process of attending and comprehending visual media such as television, advertising images, films, diagrams, symbols, photographs, videos, drama, drawings, paintings, and sculptures. These strategies are organized in a before, during, and after structure, much like the traditional strategies are. Each structure will have four anchor strategies. This will serve as the thinking templates of the students. This anchor strategy for viewing will help students who have significant difficulties in making connection with visual images and those who are locked behind their peers in dealing with multimodal instructional materials. This strategy will help the students in terms of the following. First, develop the knowledge and skills to analyze and evaluate visual text. Second, acquire information and appreciate ideas and experiences visually communicated by others. Third, become effective, active, and critical viewers to be able to fully participate in multimodal classroom discussion. Things to remember in performing this strategy. This can be done in 1 to 2 sessions per week in 10 to 12 weeks. You will be needing visual materials like videos, pictures, printed ad, and the like. Remember, throughout the process, the teacher's role is to guide the students in accessing the materials and should enhance working both independently and collaboratively. Now, let me share the procedures in this anchor strategy. Watch a video like you read a book. First is structure before viewing. This is composed of viewing, purpose, preview, predict, and connect. Step 1. Set a viewing purpose. Good day my dear students. Welcome to the English class of Teacher Karen. I hope everyone is doing awesome, are we? Very good. So for today's discussion, we are going to watch an animated video. Are you excited? Alright, this animated video will help us to analyze the characteristics of a legend. Again, our lesson for today is to analyze the characteristics of a legend. Did you get it? Alright! Step 2. Preview the video based on its title, length, or any important details. Alright class, this is the animated video that we are going to watch. This animated video is about the legend of Domingo. I've got this video from YouTube and this will not take more than 6 minutes. Step 3. Ask the students to predict the sequence of the events or instruct them to think of their experiences connected with the video. Before I play this video, I want you to predict what do you think is going to happen in this video. Step 4. Let the students identify media connections to their real-life experiences. At this point, I want you to get a piece of paper that you will use to jot down the important events or details that you will see in the video. Try to answer what are the connections in this The Legend of the Mango to our real life. Second structure, during viewing. This is composed of stop, clarify, question, and infer. This is for the steps 5 to 8. This will promote understanding of the video and streaming content. Step 5. Stop or post the video while viewing based on the learner's preference and monitoring of own understanding. 
Once upon a time in a poor country, there was a poor peasant family. They had a son named Doxy. He's a good boy, honest and kind. Alright, let me pause this video for a while. How was the character Doxy described in this legend? Very good. Doxy was described as honest, good boy, and kind. Let's continue watching. Step 6. Rewind to clarify understanding or uncover subtle data or events. It's okay, Mom. Don't worry. It's not that hard work. All right. Let me rewind this part. Let me go catch some fish and shrimp. I can also exchange some rice, Mother. Poor you, Doxy. If only our family were in a better situation, I could let you go to school. It's okay, Mom. Don't worry. It's not that hard work. You know, I have to help you a little bit. There. In this part, we can clearly see the status of the family. Doxy volunteered to catch some fish and shrimp and even exchange rice. We can predict that Doxy is out of school and his mother pitied him because instead of going to school, he is already trying to help his family. Step 7. Form relevant questions based on the video. If you were in Doxy's shoes, would you also try to help your family in trying times? Or would you rather continue playing games and watching TikToks in your phones? What do you think? Step 8. Ask the students to make meaningful and personalized inferences. After this part, what do you think will happen next? Third structure. After viewing, this is composed of summarize, analyze, create, and socialize. This is for steps 9 to 13. Step 9. Let the students retell what happened. Step 10. Ask the students to analyze the idea organization in the video. From time to time, people call it mango, in Malaysian meaning kwa kwa. It is a sweet, fragrant fruit, symbolizing the kind and loving heart of Doxy, the young boy who will remain in the world forever. Alright, now that we are done watching the video, can someone retell what happened in the animated video of The Legend of the Mango? Who would like to volunteer? Step 11. In a group, create word cloud, example given, Reflex Diction, Tone, Theme of the Video. Now, I will group you into three. Each group will create a word cloud or a graphic organizer. The first group will focus on the characters. Second group will focus on the settings. Third group will focus on the plot. Are we clear? Step 12. Let the students socialize with other classmates by asking them to collaborate their ideas and critique one another. Do not forget to ask for the comments and insights of each member of your group, and you will present your output later. Last step, step number 13, assign the students to make reflection with regards to the viewing purposes which are explained in the step number one. Do you still remember our purpose in watching this animated video? Yes, very good. The purpose of watching this animated video is to analyze the characteristics of a legend. Now, what do you think are the characteristics of a legend based on the video that you have watched? Finally, those are the steps in this remedial strategy for viewing, anchor strategy, watch a video like you read a book. Let us all remember, viewing skill is also important along with other macro skill for language learning of the students. That's why it's indeed necessary for us teachers to develop this kind of remedial strategies activities 
that can help remediate students' difficulties in viewing. This has been your teacher, Karen, and see you in our next demonstration. Bye-bye!